Hey guys, this is Eliminator 526, and this is the Evil Walkthrough of Fable 3 Part 26. And what is with all this little gold? I'm still on gold though. Yeah! Gold! It will require nothing less to build this army of the ones talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, hmm. your brother was taxing the people rather heavily, and some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three Let's clear see. choices, Your Majesty. One, lower the tax rate. Raise, well, you know it. Oh, more gold. Not, Beautiful. Breathe in that gilded air. Our tax collectors have not wasted any time carrying out your missions. Certainly some people will starve to death, but it's a small price to pay for the security of our land. If you carry on being this decisive, the treasury will soon be overflowing. Perhaps you could even take a little bit of money from it. Hmm. I think I'd rather swim in it. yourself with the royal ledger. It is a log book that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, look at the time. You really ought to attend to the next item on today's agenda. Okay, talk to Reaver. Hmm. And consider Reaver rebuilding. Has a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industry. Now I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Reaver can, I assure you. I have seen to it that your appearance among the populace is well publicized. So expect the crowd. Okay. Let's do this. That is a lot of projected deaths. Huh. And I got a lot of money to fill in, in that piggy bank. I don't think they'll mind if I take a little bit. Well not right now though. Yeah, cheer me on. I'm I'm an evil king. Cheer me on or you get gunned down. Yes. Don't tempt me, Weaver. Oh no, not her. I think it's time to break a promise. Did I promise? And what would you have us do? I didn't pinky promise. The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Oh, ha, ha. Mmm, save 500, get 500. Did give me that. Reaver, you and me think the same way. We need all the workers we can get. A most astute choice, Your Majesty. I shall begin the necessary modifications at once. I will never forgive you for this. After all we've done, you're no different to Logan. Yeah, shut up, you broad. Oh, 
Welcome to the reopening of Reva Industries Youth Center, where we care for your young 20 hours a day, teach them valuable skills, and ensure they never, ever get into trouble. Work, little kids. Work! <laughs> if you don't work, you'll get the whip. No sleeping or recess on my kingdom. <laughs> Come on, stop saving. Okay, let's go. I wonder if I could hire one of those kids to polish my boots. Yes, look at it. Yes, the gold is rising. I am a such a good ruler. Let's head back to the drone room and make another big decision. Hmm, where the heck are the potions? Yeah, let's just go to this drone room. Look at that yellow kid running. His mom must have got raped. Okay. Another big decision. Today, you will decide what is to be done with the Power Stone Old Quarter, site of the Battle for Albion. Paige will offer her proposal. Reva shall stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, our victory came at a great cost to the city. You have done little to improve the lives of your citizens since you came to power. But it's not too late to start. I ask that the old quarter hmm. be built and its former residents rehomed. Oh, me and Reva get we along. <laughs> Shut up. Time to build houses. We have other priorities. The request is denied. The king has reached his decision. The old quarter shall become a monument to our victory and is to be left untouched. Sanity is And I'm yes. not fret. I shall make sure there is no negative publicity attached to your decision. You have turned your back on those who need you the most. I wonder if anything has really changed since we overthrew your brother. <laughs> that marks it for this chart. Despite the heartless demands of the greedy few, we are proud to announce that the historic site of Bowerstone Old Quarter will forever be preserved as a monument to this city's greatest triumph. Join me, Reva. Saluting our Okay, I shot her up. Is there a more beautiful spectacle than a big pile of <laughs> Forgive me the rhetorical question. In any case, we are certainly doing well, but we are still short of the target. As a matter of fact, our very first oh. order of business might have a bearing on our financial situation. 
the time has come to decide the annual town guard budget. As you can imagine, the people like to complain about crime and the lack of safety on our streets, and are calling for more guards than your brother was ever willing to pay for. You have three choices, Your Majesty. Leave the budget as it is. After all, the people have grown accustomed to murder, theft, and contraband. Increase the budget and fill the streets with soldiers keeping the peace. A rather costly solution. Or take a more considerable, very wise. Yes. Better to have a city full of criminals than a city full of very dead people. Let us now turn our attention to the rest of today's business. Here is the royal schedule I have prepared. Embark on a journey of adventure and exploration. Oh my. As you can see, you have a busy day in the court, but a tremendously enjoyable one. Decoration is a passion of mine, and I simply cannot wait to see your choice. The interior designers await you in the throne room. The heck? Look, I can make this castle a strip club or something? That'll be cool. Well, let's see what I get to choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep screaming at me. <laughs> Today, you decide on the decor of the castle. Two of Albion's greatest interior designers have come to present their suggestions. You may speak. Looks like a man. Your Majesty, I am Herman Worthy. I'm not even going to listen to the good guy. I wish this to be a fortress of dread. The readers of Castle Design Weekly will be delighted with your intelligent choice. Well, I for one am seriously considering cancelling my subscription. You're all, you're all witches. Ain't you rash. Oh no, not Aurora. Time to break another promise. Woohoo! I wish I could go around the face and rip it. Come on. Okay, there we go. Today you decide on the future of Aurora. Kaylin will speak for her people. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. I am here to seek the protection you promised. It is too long. What promise? Or new without suffering will become part of Albion. But they must work for this privilege. The king has spoken. Aurora shall be mined for resources. Its people shall receive <laughs> the protection of the throne in exchange for their labor. You are no better than your brother. He may have left <laughs> us to die, but you wish only to exploit us. Yeah, I never liked her face anyway. Welcome to the new and improved Aurora, an oasis of friendship, camaraderie, and valuable resources. Visit the city that <laughs> Poor Aurora. If it was up to me, I'll just nuke them, even though they don't have nukes back then. While it is true that your popularity in Aurora has suffered, the people closer to home are not too concerned. This could prove to be a very profitable arrangement. And speaking of Aurora and profits, we may have stumbled. Yeah, 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 shut up. Well, this was Eliminator. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for the next part of the Fable 3 walkthrough. I'll see you guys then. And bye.